Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be going over how to lock a file or folder in in a batch file. So you can see here I have this code on my on the left side of my screen. This right here is is the command that's going to allow me to basically lock down the folder. It will also make the folder disappear until we run the batch file again. So, if exists, I'm going to change it to iLock so that we will be able to tell if it changes. Now let's just do that for the rest of these. If I can remember how to type. And now we just do it for the last one. Okay, now we change this one to the last, to the iLock. So now we have the password here, which, where it says, if not, percent sign of pass, percent sign. That right there is what's setting our password. So that, so when we enter in, so when we enter in, the password where it says test file, that right there is where it's going to say whether the password is right or not. And we'll be able to edit it later on. So now I'm changing the attribute to iLock, just so that way it knows where to add those attributes. So let's take a second to look at this. Negative H and negative S and positive H and positive S, those are turning on the hidden and it's also turning on the attribute to make it save to the flash drive. So the plus S, what it's doing is it's saving the file or directory to the flash drive, in my case, I'm using a flash drive, and the plus H is actually making it hidden. So, then if we put a negative sign in front of it, it's gonna do the exact opposite. Now, as we scroll back up, we're going to change, we're gonna change the name, Okay, so the if not exist, it's a looking for locker and saying MD locker. And now this set slash P to CHO equals, um, equal sign, then less than sign. What that's saying is it's looking for our input. So, as you can see right below it, if capital Y, it says go to lock. If lowercase y, go to lock. It's just to make sure that it's not case sensitive. Just so you guys know, I recorded this video ahead of time. So, I recorded the... The, what you're seeing now on the screen, I recorded that before I recorded the audio because I couldn't get quiet enough. And now I'm noticing several errors, which I will address after the video. So now it's going to name, rename Locker to iLock. So now we have everything ready and set, I think. So now we can see uh, that everything is there. Let's see. Now we save it. Now we're going to run the locker that bat. As you can see, it created the locker directory. I'm going to put this edit doc inside it. And I'm going to run the command again. So now I'm going to type in Y. And now we can see that 
DI lock is gone. Well, it's it was grayed out, but now we can see that the file is gone. Now to get back, we're just gonna run the command again. And now I can't remember the password. Just excuse me for a sec. We're going to scroll back down. Test file. And now we can see that everything is in there. Okay, I don't know why that popped up. I'll get back to this one. Remember to do the attributes. I will try and make several other videos trying to explain it as I learn more about these. So stay tuned on my channel. And let me know in the comments if you want me to go more in depth into this. Because honestly, I'm really liking batch files. Let's just see what I'm going to get into editing. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I know I did, because I loved doing the research on this. And I can't wait to see how you guys liked it. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.